Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to do this very cool AI face coming out of the surface like this with Cinema 4D. Very simple, very easy technique. So let's get into it. So before we get started, I have an announcement to make. So I just started my very first Patreon platform where I share all of my uh, project file uh, that related to my YouTube video for those who are interested. So uh, you can follow the link under the description to check out some of the offer that I have here. So you can join my uh, Patreon for $5 a month for standard project file or $10 a month for standard and premium project file. So I have just started to post all of the um, resources here. Um, so ev everything that I have in my YouTube channel is going to be here. So be sure to check this out. Totally appreciate your support. So that's it. So now let's get into the fun part. So here we are in Cinema 4D, so the first thing we need to do is to create a cylinder and set it, set the height to 1000 okay and maybe reduce the rotation segment to uh, 10 uh, so this depends on how powerful your machine, your computer is uh, I don't have a powerful computer so I want to reduce it so it will not crash alright so we have something like this uh, but I wanted to give it a little bit more details on the, the cap here so let me just um, apply this bevel here and you drag this under the cylinder so now you can see there's a little bit of bevel going on here but a little bit too small so let me just increase it uh, to something like this alright so we have something like this so uh, now let me just right click on this and select current state to object so what it does is to kind of bake the whole object into just one uh, single uh, model like this so we can save a lot of memory for the next step um, so currently now we don't need it so just delete it and have this one here okay so now we're going to multiply this into a pattern so let's select this here and select the cloner and drag this into the cloner. So by default, it's gonna give you nine, but I want more. So let's set it to 50 and 50 here. So we have a pattern like this. But but I wanted to uh, reduce the gap between these uh, individual items. So let me just reduce the size here to 150 and 150 here. So we have a pattern like this. Alright, so it's looking good. Next step, let's select the cloner and apply a shader to this. So let's go to more graph and effector and add the shader. Alright, so from the shaders, um, let's go to the shading and select this as displacement. So we need a material here with the displacement channels. So let's create a material. So let's call it this place in there. All right. So let's open this and turn off the reflectance and turn on the displacement. So we're going to apply a texture to this. So what I have here is a depth map. So what it does is to reflect a human face with just black and white. So the white points represent the position that is closer to the camera and the darker it get, the further it's gonna be. So that's what the depth map is. So you can find this depth map on Google. So you can maybe search some depth map face. And maybe you can find a bunch um, of these depth map on Google. It's not as good quality, but it's usable. But in case you need this, this my version because I created myself. So you can you know sign up for my Patreon and get the access uh, along with the, the whole uh, Cinema 4D project file so you can save your time. Alright, so get back to this. I'm going to load this depth map to the displacement channel right here. So let's select it. Alright, no, we don't need it. Okay, so after you load this depth map to the displacement channel, let's create a new object. Uh, so let me just call it a materials uh, holder so it does nothing all I need here is just a place so, so I can drag this material here 
Uh, so it stay here. Okay, so now let's select the shaders and drag this material tag to this shading uh, input. So now the, the displacement channels is being linked to the shading input of this shader. So now you can um, uh, go back here, but it's, it's nothing happening here because um, the, the, the displacement channel is not being mapped correctly. So let's select this tag and right click on it and select fit to region and now you can select this whole thing and now you started to see the displacement channel is being mapped correctly to the pattern you can see something happening here okay so now you can go back to the shaders and go to the parameter and start to play around with the setting um, you can turn on the position and increase the height you can see that this is starting to deform the pattern to mess up the patterns along with the displacement channels which is very cool um, maybe let's just let me just um, because here is the, the the map is being distorted a little bit so let me just select this um, material tag and uh, maybe increase this a little bit to uh, uh, 150 and uh, adjust the offset so it will be in the center so something like this all right cool the next thing i wanted to do is to give it a little bit of randomness um so let's select the cloner and give it a random effector so what it does is to kind of mess everything's up in a pretty organized way we we'll still keep the shader pa uh, pattern here so let's reduce this a little bit. Uh, maybe let's select uh, Gaussian and maybe reduce its uh, the strength a little bit so it will not be too much. All right, good. All right, so that's uh, we basically have this uh, patterns is working here. So you can animate it by select the shaders and go to parameters and add, uh, set the keyframe to the Y position here so maybe on 50 let me just hit Y and a 0 let's give it 0 and hit the keyframe here maybe we don't even need the, um, the scale let me turn off the scale here so you can see it clearer so now when you play you can see that this is has some kind of a uh, extruding animation coming out here which is uh, really cool so now I wanted to have some kind of a um, kind of ripple animation uh, so we can have a cooler uh, thing like this um, we can do that by select the cloner and add another um, shader another shader here so let me call it a displacement um, displacement shaders and this is ripple ripple shader all right so with this ripple shaders i'm going to go to uh, shading and select colors and create another materials let me call this a uh, ripple and go here turn off the reflections on the color channels let's give it a gradient gradient okay so go to the gradient and set it to radio not radio circular all right cool. something like this and move this uh, maybe a little bit closer here and so be white here so let's set the gradient to something like this so a circle like this and drag this to our material holder here and now let's select the ripple shaders and drag this ripple material to this input all right cool so you don't see anything happening because we need to set the um, the mapping the material mapping correctly so let's select this and right click and select fit to region and select a region for it to fit in so you can see that something happening here we see a ripples kind of um, showing up here so let's see 
something like this but it's static so we need to animate it uh, so let's go back to the materials and adjust this right on here so I want currently it's kind of um, moving on the opposite direction I want it to be uh, something like coming up out of the surface so let's set it to white and set the other part to black so we can have a opposite pattern like this cool so we have a ripple like this so you can select this um, radian channels and do set some keyframe to um, you know to uh, do the animation so let me just Amazon so let's go to 50 and set the um, material here so maybe we have something like this uh, shop like this all right so let's set the keyframe here and go to zero and move this all the way to the centers all the way to the center like this all right cool and now when you play the animation so much cooler right so much cooler all right so basically we have something like this which is pretty cool right so one thing that you can also do is to give this ripple a um, fall off so you can go to fall off and select this um, maybe a uh, spherical sphere uh, and increase the size so you can see that um, you can control the the area that this the whole thing the whole uh, uh, distortion uh, happening uh, so you can so for example like here if you move the fold off you can have this kind of very cool transition or waving animation like this so there's a lot of things that you can play around with this fold off uh, but what I can do here is to um, um, increase and to uh, go to uh, remapping and set a keyframe to the strain and reduce it to zero so we don't see the distortion anymore so it's kind of completely kill the distortion okay so set a keyframe here and now uh, do the same for this uh, for the beginning right so set a keyframe here as 100% and at zeros reduce to zero and set a keyframe all right so now we have something like this so much 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 better all right so that's basically it uh, so what we can do next is to make it look a little bit sexier um, so I'm going to give this a material so let's go in new materials uh, and drag this to the cloning all right uh, so which this so with this material we're not gonna go anything crazy with this just keep it uh, simple maybe let's give it a little bit blue blue is gray blue is like this and for reflectance let's uh, setting let's set it to something like this all right just, just very matte materials it's gonna work all right so um, Next thing we need to do is to set up some simple light here so, to make it look better. So I'm going to create an area light and move it up here and make it bigger. You can go to uh, details and from down here select inverse square for fall up and turn on the Z direction only. And now you can go back to this and rotate this light the way that you want so I'm going to go with this direction and right here all right cool so we up here a little bit and you can increase the size of this this ball so it's a follow up ball so the more you drag it out the more lights gonna cast on our um, our scene here so it's basically something like this all right, so you can go to uh, generals and from on shadow, let's turn on shadow and select the area shadows and go to the shadow setting and give it a, a kind of blue shadow. So it will look a little bit more stylized, uh, something like this. So let, let's give it a try. Here I wanted to go to this. 
So it's looking a little bit dark here, but I think it's, it's, it's getting there. Um, so now let me turn this off and increase it to 200. All right, so now you can uh, uh, duplicate this line and move it over here. So you can kind of uh, change the direction to this direction and move it way over here. And maybe just 150, just to see how it looks like. So for this light, I will turn off the shadows. None. So let's see how it goes. So this is a little, so we it kind of give it a little bit brighter um, to uh, this side, but it's still kind of dark. So let me just increase the fall up and move it up here. So you can see that it's getting there, right? So you can see that this kind of shadow is kind of casting on over these um, details really nicely. Um, finally, let's create a plane uh, and increase the size as big as you can. Uh, I'm going to go with this side and move it up a little bit. So you can kind of cover the rest of the pattern that you don't want to show. So finally, we're going to have something like this. You can drag this material to the plane so it can have the same material as the pattern. So now let's give it a try. Alright, so that's basically it. Uh, it's, it's up to you to you know play around with this setting, even make this uh, more dense. Um, what I'm doing here is just to give you a basic technique. Um, so in case you wanted to have something look exactly like this, you can download this Project Prime from my Patreon with just $10 a month. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you find it helpful, give it a like. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, peace.